Fox News is entering midterm election mode. And as much as you might wanna mock it or dismiss it, you should care. Because unless we change something this time around, the rest of the media is gonna be following its lead for the next couple weeks. Okay, look, this has been done a million times. Fox is horrible, Fox is evil, blah, blah, blah. So let's do things a little bit differently. I grew up watching Fox News every day, sometimes for hours at a time. I also spent a lot of time watching Fox News for a living every day, sometimes for hours at a time. And there's something I think we often miss when talking about it. So instead of fixating on the network's history of fomenting insane conspiracy theories or ridiculous racism or constant parade of sexual harassers, let's just talk plainly about one thing. Fox has a terrible record of predicting things. During the home stretch of every midterm election cycle recently, Fox has gone nuts on one topic and mainstream media has just completely followed its lead. And it's over the ending weeks of our campaigns. All of these outlets covered these stories that were just fake right-wing outrages that were invented. They didn't cover them as much as Fox News, but they covered them. They took these, they took the bait. Let's rewind to 2014, the Ebola outbreak. You might not remember, but when October 2014 hit, Ebola became the biggest story in the country. Fox led the charge with batshit, wall-to-wall, sky-is-falling coverage. Ebola scares popping up across the country and concern growing. And it is getting a little scarier by the moment. Ebola or ISIS or Ebola <clears throat> on the backs of ISIS. Should pets who have been exposed to the Ebola virus be euthanized? Yes. But other networks completely followed suit, even exceeding them at times. The last month of the midterms was totally consumed with this kind of hysterical coverage. OJ helicopter footage, insane fear mongering. The ISIS of infectious agents. And the effect was pretty clear. It shot to the top of voters' concerns. Two thirds said that they were very concerned about a nationwide outbreak. Warnings flew that we could soon be overrun with Ebola. Is it possible that it's you know slowly mutating and becoming airborne? The result, 11 people got Ebola in the US, 11. Two people died. More people will have died from COVID while you're watching this video than the entire US Ebola outbreak. And then the coverage crash landed the week after the election. 2018, the caravan. When October hit, Fox went all in on the band of menacing migrants marching towards the US. Again, Fox set the pace with absolutely unhinged warnings. Thousands upon thousands of migrants literally marching to the U.S. in what would be a mass invasion. Invasion. An invasion. A multitude of diseases entering our country. We have the markings, all the tattoos of MS-13. There could be terrorists. Caravans like this are coming across the border all day, every day. Base GOP voters were led into an absurd alternate reality. Like this Minnesota woman who told the New York Times that she was worried that all of the summer homes in her area were about to be overtaken by gangs. Get it together, Carol. Now this time, mainstream media kind of broke the mold. A lot of them explicitly acknowledged that the caravan was a cynical attempt to hijack election coverage. This is what the president wants us to talk about a week before the election. Trump wants us thinking about that caravan. He wants the press to be talking about this. But then they did the exact same thing anyway. Caravans shot to the top of every network's coverage during the campaign's final weeks. Again, all those terrifying warnings, none were proved true. And again, coverage crash landed right after the election. Now look, it's important to say, these were all legitimate stories that deserved some coverage. Non-Fox cable news is still an absolute mess of chaos and bullshit, and they're not above criticism. But by any objective measure, Fox is in a league of its own. And there's no better demonstration than its host's direct involvement in Republican campaigns. From Donald Trump all the way down to obscure congressional races. This year, after Fox hosts directly helped get Mehmet Oz into the general election in Pennsylvania's Senate race, they then coordinated their coverage to boost him. Whatever you think of CNN or MSNBC, and there are a million valid criticisms, I'm never forgetting the Malaysian plane, this is just not something that has an equivalent on other networks. Rachel Maddow wasn't texting Hillary Clinton aides ideas for ads. MSNBC and CNN both fired employees when it was revealed they aided Democratic campaigns. It's just not something that happens on the Democratic side. You don't, there's no Fox News equivalent on the left. I know that people want there to be a nice easy balance, but it's just not built in the same way that it is on the right. So we have a pretty clear indication of Fox's motivations. But again, even if we did it, we do have a clear track record. All of its pre-midterms predictions of carnage have proved to be absolute bullshit. 
And again, you can have whatever opinions you want about Fox's motivations or other problems with the rest of media, but the record is clear. Again and again, their pre-election warnings have been wrong, and we don't have to keep listening. Really, it's it's a it's a question of making editorial decisions. What's mm -hmm. best for your for your audience? What will inform them? How what will help them make the right decisions about who to vote for? That's all that I think. That's all I want. That's all I think most people who care about the press want is just for media sources, media outlets to put forward stories that that inform the public.